I know this is a topic that's already coming up. So Halloween's a day that nobody judges the fuck out of you. Who wear literally a thong, and that's your outfit, bro. That's your costume. I want to help y'all out, so y'all won't be stressing last minute to find Halloween costume ideas because all the previous years you are really gone. For real. I've been literally last minute shopping and I can't find anything, so then I have to DIY my shit, which I actually love. So you're gonna be hearing it from a girl from the south. I'm not from Iowa. Iowa. I'm from Texas. <laughs> nice. I went ahead and got some costume ideas. I'm gonna go ahead and recreate all of them because all of these can be done at home. So I just want y'all to pay attention. I do have a list of outfits that I found online that I know will look so good on all of y'all. They're DIY friendly for any of y'all who don't have the money to spend. You know, you still gotta stay humble. It literally goes from grungy to like cute and like quirky. I'm warning you, this shit's gonna be good. So stay watching. Don't forget to follow my social media before we start. Go ahead and follow it. Go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to give you some good ass ideas. So you better subscribe. Subscribe. Let's get started, y'all. This one, I'm going to be Harry Potter. This is my graduation gown. We have this little iron on. Even though this is the first costume, I still love this one so much more than all the other costumes I'm really going to do. But I did not have a tie. So I went with a scarf because, you know, Slytherin. It's green, yeah, like a homie Slytherin team. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you where everything's from. Combat. I have this graduation gown. I got it for school for like, how much was it? $50, $60? What is this? This scarf is my brother's, so you would have to ask him. And then my hair is mine. No, I'm just playing, I'm bald headed. And this pencil is from Walmart. Ta -da! I fall more with Gryffindor, so I do fall on Slytherin a little, so representation matters, y'all. Slytherin for life. -us. I'm playing Gryffindor for life. Happy Potter. Yeah, that's how I pronounce it. For all y'all who mad, stay mad. I'm wearing the Waldina glasses. It looks like I'm graduating, but this is all I have, so this is what I'm gonna do as well. I don't have a tie, so this is what I'm doing. Kind of represents. Oh, y'all. He needs some milk. These glasses are kind of fucked up. Ugh, it stays balanced for like one second, and then, y'all, I'm looking so dumb. But I just made like a little lightning mark, even though I kind of messed that up too. Put some little glasses, some round glasses, and I don't have a patch, as I said, but. I honestly still love this look. Same fit. I'll be your Harry Potter. <laughs> Yo, it actually looks really fire though. You're also gonna need your little wand. Goddamn levy of song. <laughs> you know? But this is hot. I'm not gonna lie. This is hot. The like little chicana white to k look. Wait, puto me des 200 dollars. The colors don't match. I was really trying to go for monochromatic look, but it did not work out because I could not find the same brown. And this is a brown. It just looks very cool with this type of brown because this is very warm. I did some little, you know, concealer trick, trying to cut my brows, trying to look little chilanga, white 2K. Uh, I don't have big hoops, so y'all have to let that go. So yeah, this is the fit, and I don't want to the back. And yeah, this is the type of look that. In the morning and I feel so bad. Yeah, I run to the bounty and need them. Shorty, come on, shorty, shorty, come on. Look, look at this. Come on, shorty, don't play with me. Look good. You know, like, come here. Come here. I'm Lil Francisco. You know, like, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. I got bags, I got money, yo. The Cholito in town. Like, I read this like a, a 7 out of 10. Because I don't, I don't think I got it fully right. So this guys right here is the hot, sexy inmate look. 
it's definitely DIY. I have the shirt backwards because spooky, spooky skeleton. Y'all see that? Like. It has some um, little graphic in the back. I would honestly just print out something that says, you know, inmate number. Cuatro, cuatro, cuatro. I think this is very cute. You can even like scrunch it up or something, whatever works for you if you feel confident like that. I heard they wear all white shoes, so it's a cute outfit. Definitely kind of edgy and simple and basic. Like these I got from Shein. And then the bands are bands, and then this shirt was thrifted. And so, yeah, it's cute. You know, at this point, I consider myself Tinkerbell, not Tinkerbell, because this is kind of off brand because I've never seen her have some blue wings. <laughs> My God! Wow! These are the most ratchetest wings I've ever seen. But you can actually make some. I found some on TikTok. These wings look like they're falling apart every second. Like, I kept trying to maneuver them but they don't work. You know? <laughs> if y'all really wanna see it in all security, this is how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> the dress is a little arrugado. These little loafers are from Aldo. This dress is from Bebe. And these beans are from Dollar Tree. <laughs> Yeah, protect it. I actually really like it, other than the wings. I just wanted to show you about the dress. Like, it could look cute that way. Like, look at that. That looks so schmexy, y'all. Like, Damn! who did that? <laughs> I did that. And you could, you know, put some micro shorts or some shit. But, like, overall, you know how Tinkerbell be wearing her dress like tiny as hell? Like, that shit's like above almost for her fucking panocha and shit. I was asking my brother what I should do with this wig. He said I should be Katy Perry. So I was thinking, California girls were undeniable. Flying cherries be in on top. Woo! Stop looking at my ass. I think this would be a cute Katy Perry little moment because Katy Perry really do be like, <laughs> This is her California girl's like hair. I'll show y'all a picture because homegirl really did that. Yeah, I think this color matches it more. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Stop it. Get some help. Hey, Louise. Um, this is the next outfit. I'm supposed to be looking like one of our tracks. I just don't know how to put these on, y'all. Like, am I done or am I done? Because I'm trying to open this. And then this shirt is thrifted and these are some jeans that, I mean, and these are some business casual pants. So, yeah, that's kind of the fit. These are from Claire's. I bought these from Claire's. So, yeah. I'd wear this if I want to be an inspector. An investigator all the way down. But I honestly really, really like it like this. This gives me very, like, I know who you are. I will find you. You see? And makes it look nice. You got tiny ass arms. I really enjoy the fit. And it makes me feel like an investigator full on. I feel like I'm investigating your ass. Like, what the fuck did you do? Did you do spark? It's almost like a dress. But not. But yes, but not. And you can make it cozy or you can make it, you know, lightweight as possible. Really don't put any clothes under, just some shorts and like a little sports bra. Anything you really want to do, it's up to you. And it looks so gorgeous. Like, I am in love. And this will be one of my fits for Instagram because this is the shit I like. So these are the combats that I've been wearing almost the whole entire video and then this is actually thrifted so it's my little treasure and i'm so excited that i actually tried it out with this because i'm literally in love like i feel like a bad bitch and yeah not gonna be real mad at me for this one not gonna lie so this is the most basic outfit that literally the whole world can His find anywhere no. but the thing with this outfit is that this outfit is available anywhere y'all like anywhere this is the most basic costume outfit that i've ever seen if you buy from retail yes this costume ends to be like 20 30 dollars right 
that's with any outfit, any costume. But the thing is that this, I've seen this in the thrift store a damn couple of times, dude. Like I've seen it like seven, eight, nine times, dude. And that's just by like glancing at it. Like imagine if you actually look, there's a shitload of costumes. So this one is basic, but <laughs> you all just realize I have no ass. <gasps> The BBL is gonna fix that. Bitch, paint up or don't talk about my ass. Like, if you if you feel bad for me, like, pay for my ass. Like, <laughs> no doubt, Shawnee, I'll take that shit within a second. Okay? I will accept that deal right here, right now. Let's do it. Come on. Don't leave me on hold. Come on. What do you think about this? Like, wait a minute. Who are you? So, this is a fit as um, a hippie. Like, all the babies. This is the fit as a hippie. And I honestly love it. I love, love, love this shirt. I really love, love, love this sweater. But I'm just not feeling the whole combination. Uh, that's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. But you see where I'm going with this. So I kind of want to give you like a hippie. You can put like a little headband in the middle of your head. Like, let me just present to you. Even though this is like, you know, you can go ahead and do that. Oh, that looks kind of weird. Like, this is cute and you look kind of hippie. And it just makes you feel so good about yourself. Like, I literally feel like a cute ass girl. And then with my combat boots as well the fuck is this love and peace and you know give it to the world y'all gotta stop hating yourselves like y'all we're all in this together like y'all gotta stop but this is the type of energy that they give me i love their energy i was actually the step team in like fourth and fifth grade being a construction worker for Halloween like it's a job for every ethnic group before people start coming for me because I actually worked in construction the whole summer it's really like that so there's always a dress code if not you can get a ticket because you know someone can literally like someone if someone hits you and you're not in the line it's your fault but if they hit you and there's combs there they're at fault and they'll get a big ass ticket if you want, you can wear black pants today. It's just gonna be a dirty day, you know? But usually we wear like a bright color, yellow or orange are the colors that make you pop out. And then you always gotta wear a vest. If you don't have your vest and your helmet, you're not going out in the street because you can get in trouble. And if the supervisor comes or if the city comes or if anybody comes, if somebody comes in a higher position than you, then you can get in trouble, definitely. Uh, usually what we would wear, um, usually what I always see I don't fuck with Timberlands like that, like, no sir, they ain't my, they ain't my cup of more, like, that's not my cup of tea, so, yeah, this is the fit, this is how I would usually go to work, except usually sometimes wear jeans, and I'd wear some heavy shoes, it depends, if I was wearing a colored hat, I'd wear jeans sometimes, if I was wearing a black hat, I kind of try to make it match a little, because this has no color combination, yellow, orange, and black. Sometimes I wear the glasses just so I could prevent from like rocks falling in my eyes because we do have to wear glasses protect we have to wear protective glasses but I just wear my glasses because let me construct that back tonight. <laughs> Graham, we're gonna do a deep dive. You all ain't ready. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. What happened to that hairline? <laughs> <laughs> no god no if you don't know who i am i'm actually gonna be a little upset because like yeah i'm stephanie y'all i'm stephanie from lazy town mm -hmm. and if you don't know what lazy town is at this point 
Are y'all even 2000 babies? Like, nah, bruh. I grew up with Lazy Town. And I was like, boop, 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 boop. No, like, I was really repping Lazy Town until I found out it was all green screen. And I was like, what the hell? I'm digging this because I feel like you can't tell who I am. <laughs>